it's me ex canadensis and for today's video we are going to be doing a top 10 favorites video so i'm going to be picking my top 10 best rainbow high dolls based on my own personal opinions and taste but i know people enjoy seeing videos like this the criteria is just going to be which ones i think are the most beautiful and which ones i enjoy the most sometimes it'll be based on their clothing and the doll herself sometimes it'll be mostly just based on the doll herself if i think the doll is that good I have every single Rainbow High Doll that has been released up until this point, and I actually have doubles of a lot of them. So I think I'm pretty qualified to say who my favorites are. And I'm very excited because Rainbow High is one of those doll lines that uniquely gets better every single release. Every release is better than the last, so my top 10 lists actually change quite a bit each time I do them. I'm really excited for Pacific Coast to come out, but before I start collecting them, I'd like to pick out who my favorites are from the current releases. So let's get started. So Winter Break Violet is actually here because she is the honorable mention. I wanted to do a few disclaimers here. I understand that having a favorite doll is a very passionate thing. You're going to feel very strongly about your favorite. And I'm the same about mine, but please don't be offended if your doll doesn't make this list. If anything, that just shows how amazing Rainbow High is in that we all have such different taste that our favorites can be so different. And I think that's awesome. And that's why I think Rainbow High is so cool because even if it's a doll that personally does nothing for me, she can do so much for another person. And I think that's so cool. And Rainbow High is seriously an incredible doll line. I wanna say that this doll is here right now because I legit had so much trouble making a top 10 list. I was very easily able to pick 12 dolls but it was really hard for me to cull the last two and especially to put them in order by the end. And I was actually pretty surprised by my final result for the top 10 list. So I hope it kind of surprises you guys too because it's changed so much and you guys are gonna see that immediately when we get to number 10. Winter Break Violet is here because I really wanted her on the list because Winter Break was a really interesting line and I think by the clothing, they have some of the best clothes in like all of fashion dolls. They're incredibly intricate, but something about the faces didn't click for me. But then I got this variant Winter Break Violet who has a darker lip and just a really interesting makeup look that I prefer a lot more over the other Winter Break Violet that I had first, but she doesn't quite make the cut still. Winter Break for some reason just didn't click with me as much and I still really love these dolls, but they just didn't end up comparing to the others for me. I think there's this is definitely the best doll of Violet, and there's definitely some Winter Break dolls that are the best dolls of them, but I still think Cheer overall had, um, the faces were just unreal. They were absolutely beautiful, but I think the designs here were really well done. I just think something went wrong in the face. So that's why, unfortunately, Winter Break Violet, as well as the rest of Winter Break, did not end up making this list. But this is probably my most improved Rainbow High doll ever, just by getting a better one. <laughs> so if you guys really, really hate a doll that's on my list because you have her and you think she's like ugly, it might just be your doll. Sometimes that happens or you just genuinely hate the doll. I get it. There's some dolls that I'm like, I just don't understand what's going on with them. That's how I feel with River. Like I don't hate him, but I just don't get it. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so number 10 is actually probably going to be a shock to you guys because people often ask me who my favorite Rainbow High dolls are in the comments and I will often mention this doll. I love this doll a lot and it says a lot about Rainbow High that she actually is number 10 on my list. She was originally in my top three. I believe she was my number two favorite in my first top 10 video. It's Stella Monroe. I love this doll so much and her being number 10, I hope you guys understand, is not anything like against the doll. She's still one of my actual like sentimental favorites like if i were to go somewhere i would probably be inclined to bring her if i were to do photography i would probably gravitate towards her i think she's beautiful and i truly think that this is one of the best uses of the original face mold and you'll see what i mean with that because this list uh includes two total dolls with the original face mold possibly three i'm bad at um, telling what face mold things are sometimes i'm not gonna lie this doll is so pretty i love her i just think in series two there were some missteps. I think Series 2 was kind of a little off if you look at it now. Series 1 was the same way. If you look back at it compared to Series 3, you will you might see what I mean. I love Series 2 and I think they were really well done and they were a ridiculously huge improvement on Series 1. But I just think compared to the later 2021 releases, unfortunately, they just don't make the cut. I, I just... I love her so much though and I really hope you guys can see that and I really like Stella's outfits too but they're very samey you know what I mean like she has two kind of similar tops she has a lot of like similar pieces and I don't feel as inclined to mix and match with her like I'm pretty sure she's almost wearing her exact first outfit except I changed the top and that's it 
Regardless though, this doll is just beautiful. Look at that makeup and I love her little beauty mark and her lips are so stunning. I just think her face is very unique compared to all other Rainbow High dolls. I feel like she's very bird-like and it's really, really like gorgeous to me. I really love her and she's number 10 unfortunately, but you'll see as we go on um, why I feel that way. You'll hear why I put the other dolls where I did and it will kind of make sense, but poor Stella. I hope she can remain on my top 10 list, but I don't know because Pacific Coast looks amazing. Number nine was one I immediately gravitated towards to put on my top 10 list, but for some reason, I was having trouble putting her any higher than this. And I think it's because of my personal preference. I tend to prefer very like bright, vibrant colors and this doll doesn't have those in her color scheme. But I love this doll so much because she is so different from the others. And I think her design and her overall execution was really well done. I also really like her outfits, but they aren't my personal favorite style of outfit, if that makes sense. Uh, I tend to prefer You'll, you'll see with the rest of the list, but I tend to prefer kind of more casual pieces that I can mix and match more easily. These pieces are really high concept and very interesting. So my number nine is Vanessa Tempo. I couldn't make this top 10 list without this doll because truly her makeup is the best out of all of the Rainbow High dolls. I truly believe they did the best job on her makeup. Her and another doll that's gonna be on this list, um, a much higher on this list. I think their makeup is the best. I think this doll is incredible. I can't believe this wasn't the like $60 collector's edition doll because this doll really feels like she should have been. Although the Rockstars line was quite expensive. I really hope we start seeing more textured hairstyles in Rainbow High because they really did a good job on her. The micro braids are incredible and I love, love, love all of the different colors they chose. And they did a really good job putting a really good amount of hair on her head too. I just think she's stunning. And both of her outfits are amazing. And if you guys remember when I did her review, it was actually kind of a negative review because I was so stunned by the drum set being so um, lackluster on this $50 doll. But honestly, and for me, this is comparing to, you know, my expansive doll collection and how much I've had to spend on them. I truly believe this doll alone is worth $50 even without her silly drum set. I think she's incredible. And the marked improvement from past releases, and especially with the issues at the beginning of Rainbow High, this doll is such a gleaming beacon in the Rainbow High doll line, and I can't wait to see more. If she was a one-off, I'm going to be extremely, extremely disappointed, and I know a lot of people will be too. And... I know her outfits aren't for everyone. I personally love this denim dress situation and this whole outfit is really, really cool to me. I have a lot more trouble mixing and matching these, but a lot of these pieces are standalone statement pieces. And when I put them together, it's hard to appreciate each piece, but when you create a more casual outfit with these pieces, you really help these pieces really shine on their own. And I just think they're amazing. And just look at that soft, gorgeous makeup. And she has brown eyes and I am such a sucker for brown eyes. I think they're so beautiful. And I can't wait to see more from Rainbow High because they just look amazing on all the face molds, with all the makeup, with every color of hair, like, yes. Yes, and that is why Vanessa is on this list. I, The only reason she's lower on this list is because I just tend to prefer like more bright color. You'll see, you will see. I clearly have a type. Most of these placements on this list I feel very confident about, but this one I feel honestly bad. It's kind of like Stella. I'm like, oh my gosh, how are you so low on this list now? Because she was so high up before, but it's just a testament to how good Rainbow High is getting that they continue to improve so much. And dolls that I got after this doll, ended up outshining her and also dolls that I ended up um, kind of connecting with more afterwards kind of ended up getting higher on this list so but again my top 10 list changed quite a bit and I might change her hairstyle or her outfit and she might just speak to me more next time and she might end up higher on the list I don't know but this doll is Daria Roslyn I think the biggest thing is that I don't like the way her hair is parted because her face is probably one of the best Rainbow High faces ever, in my opinion. I think she's so beautiful. And I love her color scheme so much. I think everything matches so well and clicks so well. And I really love her theming and her gorgeous outfit. It's beautiful. She's such a pretty doll. And I love, love, love her hair. Sorry, mine is a little messy. I moved all my Rainbow High dolls recently and they're gonna be getting another spa day, which I'm saving for a video. So stay tuned for that. I really love her eye color too with with her color scheme. I think it's very, very pretty. I just think the biggest thing is that 
Her lack of parting makes her hair not as exciting to play with for me. It feels like this is the hairstyle. I altered it a little bit, but this is basically the hairstyle you can have. And I think it's a very pretty hairstyle, don't get me wrong, but I think um, she would have really benefited from a part line of some sort, which I could add if I wanted to. I know that I can, but um, I'm trying to go with what the dolls actually look like when they come out, you know? I just think she's so, so pretty though. And being number eight on a rainbow high tier list during this stage in the game is actually really, really high. Um, at least for me, because it was so difficult to sort these dolls into, especially once we get to the top five. Well, the top five is pretty cemented, but right below the top five up until eight, I had a really, really hard time placing them in order. But that's Miss Daria. I really, really love her and she's still one of my favorites, of course, but she got bumped down a little bit. I'm sorry, princess. Number seven on this list is one that I didn't originally think was going to make the list at all, but when I really thought about it, I was like, yeah, she has to go in this spot. She kind of, she kind of snuck her way onto this list. She was one that was my favorite when I first saw her in the stock photos, and I really thought she was going to be the best one, and for some reason when I got her, it didn't, I didn't connect as much. And I think the main reason is that I think there's some color clashing going on in her design. But regardless, the base doll alone deserves to be on this list. And her outfits are so cool. They are so, so cool. And um, fun fact, this is actually Brett's favorite doll in my collection. Like my entire doll collection, he's picked this one. This is Brianna Dulce. This doll's so pretty. She's so, so ridiculously pretty. So what I mean about the colors clashing, by the way, is that I think this shade of pink really does not fit with this shade of pink. I like mixing pinks, but these have completely different like vibes to them and they kind of are off to me. I really love the gold color scheme to go with her pink. I know that these aren't stock pieces that she's wearing and these shoes are not hers, but pairing more gold into her outfit to match with the accents on the outfit and the makeup, I think was a really good choice and it helped me connect with her a lot more. I just, I think she's beautiful. And to see freckles on a doll with the skin tone is so rare. Freckles are for some reason pretty rare on dolls that don't have red hair anyway. And I'm a freckled person. I like freckled people. I don't, I don't know what that means. I like freckles. I think they're really, really, really beautiful. And I really love seeing them on dolls as well. And I think this doll is truly extremely special and she's so, so cool. And I love that she's Brett's favorite. I really thought she was going to be my favorite too, but... I don't know. Brett took all the, the favorite energy from her, I guess. She's so, so pretty. And I love, love, love like the gold lip gloss she has over her lips and her face mold is so pretty and her purple eyes. She's really, really cool. I just, I think I really need to change her outfit, but I'm trying to at least incorporate their original outfits into this list. There's one exception to that rule and you'll see two kind of. But yeah, that is Brianna Dulce. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful doll. I cannot recommend her enough. I know she's pretty expensive, but if you have to pick one, well, Slumber Party's a tricky one. I feel like everybody has very different favorites and um, mine didn't end up being Brianna like I thought it was gonna be. I think for longtime viewers of mine, number six is actually going to be quite shocking as well because I'm pretty sure this doll was also in my top three before. And she's still one of my absolute favorites. But again, so many good dolls came out. And I also ended up bonding with some other dolls that she ended up getting pushed back a little bit. It is Laurel. And just before we even start, mine has a bang haircut that I I just, I wanted to show this one because I just think she's so pretty with her bangs. But that's not why she's on this list. She was in my top three before she ever had bangs. She's so pretty. And the twins are extra special because they actually introduced new face molds into Rainbow High, and I love the original face mold, don't get me wrong, but the new ones outshine it in every way, and it's ridiculous, so she's just, she's so pretty. I love the twins face mold. I think that Laurel has a more cohesive and interesting design than Holly, in my opinion. I really like the fire color scheme in her hair. I like the white and gold, actually. I'm not normally a gold person. I normally prefer, like, silver and black and stuff, but this white and gold really connected. I don't know. I just think it's really, really pretty, and although their outfits aren't my favorite, and in the show, they're not my favorite, I just, I love, 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 love the dolls. I think it's interesting that the dolls just look so like sweet and precious, like you just want to hug them. They're so pretty and yeah, Laurel had to be on this list. I don't even have much to say about it. I just, it's interesting to me because I feel like these dolls are extremely underhyped. I think they came out at a time when so many amazing dolls were coming out that they ended up getting kind of buried as soon as they came out and nobody ever thought about them again. But 
I'm campaigning. Y'all need to think about the twins. They're glorious. And this is Laurel. Now we are entering the top five and I'd just like to remind you, really reiterate, stick it home here, that the top five are extremely close. The whole top 10 list is extremely close. And some days this doll that's my number five might be my number one or my number 10 or my number three. It really depends on the day for me. I'm, I tend to have a similar top 10, but they can interchange quite a bit. And this doll was placed here for mainly one, two-ish reasons, and I'll get into them. This doll is Robin Sterling. If I had to recommend a rainbow, like a first Rainbow Hide doll to somebody, even though she's one of the more expensive ones, it would be her. There's one more, there's a, well, all of my top five I would recommend, but Robin would probably be my most consistent recommendation. If I were to recommend like a not $50 one, I'll tell you who it is and why. It's the number one spot on my list, of course. Um, this doll is incredible. Every single piece of her outfit was so cool. And I really, really love the color scheme. I love this Tiffany blue, something I wasn't expecting from Rainbow High, and I love all of her jewelry. I know she's not wearing it. Everybody else pilfered it because they needed it more than she did because she shines so, so much on her own already. She's so, so, so pretty. I think her makeup is also just divine. I love her lips especially. I think her lips go so well with the entire look. And look at her little sleeping mask and her beautiful hair. I really hope we get another um, of each of the Slumber Party characters outside of Slumber Party because I'd love to see their more everyday wear. I know they come with a kind of everyday wear type look, but I mean like a full Rainbow High series look, you know, or like a winter break look or something for each of them because I just think they're that good. So I have two main complaints that keep her from being higher on this list. And I think number five would be a pretty stable spot for her generally on my list, at least for now. One, I am so sad that her hair color is not Tiffany blue. It's actually just a like a very vibrant blue. It's beautiful, but it's not this amazing Tiffany greenish blue color that I love so much. This is one of my all-time favorite colors. So if her hair had been this color, she would be on like my number one spot, I think, truly. It would be that easy, but I also think that this hair color kind of clashes a little bit with the Tiffany blue, but it's not enough to bother me very much like it did with Brianna, but it's something that I thought I'd point out. I love her makeup so, so much. I, and the other thing is her face mold is not my favorite of the face molds. I do think it's really, really pretty. I think Daria might actually have the prettier face in my opinion, but I think the way the like hair placement is, I think is more well done on her. Obviously you can't see it, but I just, I really, really like the, the way they styled her hair and I love, love, love the baby hair on her a lot. I think Daria really would have benefited from having baby hair. I love that Rainbow High is listening and adding baby hair because there's actually more dolls with baby hair already coming out, which is fantastic. And um, I do, I'm not sure about the blue eyes. I think it gives us a little bit too much blue. Like her eyes are the same color as her makeup, but I'm not sure if that's a bad thing or not. I think, I don't know. I'd have to do some customs and see if I prefer her with a different eye color. But regardless of anything I've just said, this is such an amazing doll. And her pieces are definitely some of the best in the entire series. Like, at least in my opinion, obviously, because it's just my taste. This placement hurts me. It hurts so much because this has been my number one all-time favorite Rainbow High doll since Rainbow High released this character. She was instantly my favorite and unfortunately she cannot be in the number one spot anymore. I feel so bad about it. She's still probably my favorite just in terms of like the one that I'll pick up the most but it's Kaya Hart. And I really, truly think if they did another Kaya Heart with a different face mold, she would be the number one all over again. Um, I think this is the best doll. Well, truly, this is the best doll with the original face mold. She's so pretty. And I know people hate this doll so much. Like, she's one of the, like, least favorite Rainbow High dolls of the entire community. But I just don't get it. I think some of them have bad makeup placement and that's why, but I'm not sure. She's just amazing. I have three of her and all three of them are amazing. I love her so much. I just think she's perfect and I love her, love her, 
oh my gosh, I love, 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 love her outfit pieces so much. Every single one is so, so nice. And I really love her like springy Easter bouncy color scheme. Excuse her hair. She was the star of like a Grand Theft Auto-esque doll episode and I need to recolor her hair now. But like, look at her really, really cool pants. And I put Brianna's shoes on her because I think they're really cute. I just, I don't, I don't know. Do you know when you have a favorite thing and you just can't describe it? You're just like, that's my favorite. That's it. That's kind of how I feel with Kaya. She's amazing. I love her so much. She's so stunning and she's so incredible and she's so unique compared to the other Rainbow High Dolls because most of them kind of have a very set color scheme or you can kind of point to something. Like with dolls like Lyric, I can say, oh, well, her hair is similar to an oil slick. I, I do not know what they were going for with Kaya. She's supposed to be a Valentine's Day doll, but she definitely has more of like an Easter thing going on with her hair. I don't know and I don't care. I want to see more dolls like this where the color scheme is just weird and random because yes, they did such a good job. Amaya is a bit of a misstep for me in that regard. I do really like her hair mixture, but it's not as polished, I don't think. Like it's kind of weird, but Kaya is perfect and I cannot say enough positive things about her. I can't recommend her enough. I always, when people ask, say Kaya is the best one and they should get Kaya, but there's still three spots left on this list. Okay, so this doll's placement at number three, I'm going to tell you right now, it's Carmen Major. And I want to reiterate that she's not here because she is a Kaya Hart clone, because I think that people who say that she's a Kaya Hart clone are honestly being a bit offensive. I don't know what their true motivations or intentions are, but they're not even similar. Like, they don't even look a little bit similar. The only things that are a little bit similar is that they're not white, I guess, and that they have a pinkish color scheme, but they're not even a little bit similar. It makes me very, very um, uneasy when I see this happen every single time a new non-white character comes out. It's a little weird. If we got another white girl with red hair, I guarantee people wouldn't be saying this. I don't know. That's all, that's all I'm going to say on that regard. Anyways, <laughs> Carmen is amazing, and... To me, the reason she beats Kaya, even though Kaya, I think, is my favorite -er one, I don't know how to describe it, but I feel more attached to Kaya, but the reason Carmen is higher on this list is because she has that new face mold, and she has the baby hair, and her hair color scheme is so cool. Again, I really, really love this color scheme that they picked. Some of the rainbow color schemes that we've been seeing in Rainbow High are a little weird, like Amaya's and Jet's. They, they're just a little strange, but I think Carmen's is actually fantastic. It, it really, really works with the rest of the look. And I love that they integrated it into the baby hairs. It's so cool. Also, her makeup is ridiculous. I've said this before, but it looks like it was done by one of those really amazing, like, ball-jointed doll artists that charges, like, $400 for their repaints. If, if you have seen those dolls, you know what I'm talking about. To me, she looks just like that. It's so strange. I can't believe they managed to make her look this good. She's just gorgeous and her hairstyle oh my god it's amazing i really want to recurl these but i want to make sure i have the proper tools to do it justice because i don't want i want this exact hairstyle just without the gel in it she's so pretty and her pieces are amazing i think she has the best pieces in the rockstar line at least in my opinion i really love them i love her little mtv shirt so much she's just a really cool doll really really cool doll also um i do mix and match some of my dolls outfit pieces so you'll be seeing pieces that don't go to the doll that i'm showing you sometimes if you need to know what the piece is just ask in the comments and either me or somebody else will answer you she's so pretty i think the base doll alone makes the number three spot on my list like it's no no clothes necessary well hold on <laughs> the outfit pieces don't need to be considered is what i'm saying the outfit pieces don't need to be considered the like instrument and stuff don't need to be considered just this doll is just that pretty she's she's incredible she's incredible and i'm so sorry to kaya hart that she got beat by another pink girl but i don't know you can just see like i think if kaya was updated with this quality of like face paint and stuff she would actually be my favorite still but you can just see how much improvement there's been since series two up until series three this is kind of like a three and a half almost but you know like two and a half to three and a half or two to three and a half going on here like there's such a marked improvement in every way with rainbow high and it's seriously amazing um and that's unfortunately why this is the highest doll from series two and below on this list this doll is going to be no surprise to any on anyone on this list so i'm not going to sit here and tease you about it number two on this list is daphne minton from series three this doll is so glorious she's so pretty 
first of all, this is probably the best Rainbow High face mold. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And her face paint is beautiful. She has freckles. And this is an accessory to this. Like, this isn't the reason she's on this list, I swear. But she's a geologist. She's technically designs gems. But, you know, like, that is a category of geologist. She designs, like, jewelry and stuff using gems. Like, it specifically says she's into gemology. That's a category of geologist. I'm also a geologist. <sighs> I love that they've kind of, I don't know if they're ever going to use this character for anything ever, but like it can be expanded to be like art mixing with science and that's something that almost nobody ever considers. So I think it's really, really special. And sorry about her shirt. Um, Mine just came kind of undone and I need to, like it came like this. You can see it in my unboxing video of Crystal, but I need to fix it. The reason she is not number one. <laughs> is her outfit is horrendous. Both of her outfits are horrendous in my opinion. I kind of hate them. Um, I understand each of the pieces and I kind of like them, but together I just don't get it. And I'm not the biggest fan and I wish she had um, more different looks. And I also think it's weird, really, really weird that she did not come with jewelry. She's wearing other dolls jewelry. She did come with earrings, which is why mine has stained ears. And she's just uh, so, so pretty. I think the main thing for a lot of people because she actually is one of the ones that nobody likes generally. I think people are starting to warm up to her again, but she was one when series three came out that everyone kind of passed over. Straighten her hair. No crimps. Get rid of the crimps. The way they did the crimps was weird and I don't think it fit with her overall design. Get rid of those crimps. You'll like her more, I promise. She's just, look at her eyes. There's just something about her eyes. The next doll's the same way. I can just look, oh my gosh, her half profile. Oh, she's so beautiful. And look at her lips. They're so, like, real. The shading on them is insane. Look at her. She's so beautiful. And I love the eyebrow color they chose for her, too. Just, I cannot recommend this doll enough. Like, oh my god, she's amazing. She's amazing. I can't believe this doll is real. And, um, by the way, mint is, like, my favorite color. So now we're here. You've seen every single doll that was on my other favorites videos, either... You can see why they've been removed from the list or you saw them get moved down the list and you're probably like which doll could possibly have done that because i don't even think this doll was actually on the last top 10 list i made despite me owning her at the time i'm not really sure how to explain what happened i got another one of this doll and both of them could have been in this list if i were including variants in this list i don't know i don't know what to say she's just that good and i'm not gonna make you wait any longer it's Cheryl. Um, I don't know how to describe this. It's interesting to me because I tend to prefer pink dolls. There are five, six pink dolls on this list. Six pink dolls on this list. Clearly I have a type. Um, it's actually every single pink doll Rainbow High released except Bella and kind of Georgia if you consider her pink. I consider her more orange, but, um, yeah. So to me, when Cheryl came out, I thought she was pretty. When I saw the stock photos, I I thought she was pretty. When she leaked, I thought she was pretty. This was just a pretty doll that I was going to add to my Rainbow High collection. And I really liked her, and I didn't have an issue with her, but she just, to me, got outshone, especially because Daphne exists, and Daria too. Daphne and Daria stole the show for me. But then over time, Cheryl's been creeping up on me, you know? She's she's just undeniably amazing. I don't know. I, I think if... If there were like a community poll of who the favorite Rainbow High doll is out of all of them, I actually think this doll would be very high on this list or that list. There's just something so captivating about her. And it's crazy because I just thought, okay, the coolest gimmick is cute. She has yellow hair, which makes her kind of generic almost because it's not yellow necessarily. It's almost like a very natural blonde color, which don't get me wrong, is very pretty. And I want to see more natural hair colors in Rainbow High. Not that there's anything wrong with unnatural anything wrong with unnatural hair colors I prefer them most of the time in doll lines but there's something about this doll with this I don't know if on paper this doll would not even make my top 10 list but there's something about her that just absorbs my attention every time I see this doll at the store I'm tempted to buy another one I already have three uh, I got a third one by the way I didn't tell y'all <laughs> she's just amazing and there's, I love the lip liner. I know people hate it. I think some people just get it and some people don't. I get it with the lip liner. There is a variant without lip liner. I don't have that one yet. I really hope I can get her because she's really pretty. Um, but I prefer this lip liner situation going on. She's just, this doll's just good. 
I'm pretty sure this is probably my mom's favorite Rainbow High doll too because I've showed her all of them and this is one of the only ones that she expressed repeated interest in and really liked. <laughs> um, also this type of shirt is like my favorite. They're so cute and I love like interesting sleeves and she, like it's so pretty. She's just... <sighs> you know how I had a lot to say about a lot of the other ones to like justify their spots on the list? I don't even feel like I have to justify it with her. I feel like you're looking at her right now and that's the justification. She's just that good. And with that, that's it for my top 10 favorite Rainbow High Doll list. I, again, these are based off of my personal opinions with the Rainbow High Dolls, so they are not law and I don't, I wouldn't be like mad or anything if you guys disagree. It's just, I really had a lot of fun making this list. It took a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be a pretty quick video because I've been thinking about doing this video for quite a long time. It's been waiting on me to get, um, Marissa or Marisa so I could fully decide if she should make the list or not because I didn't want to make a list until I had every single doll released just to be fair. Um, obviously Pacific Coast is out in some places but it's not out for me so I wanted to get this list out before Pacific Coast could be in the running. Yeah I'd love to know if you agree with any of my picks or if any of the dolls in like my top five you hate but don't like be mean about it I'd just be interested to hear like why they're not your favorite. Um but yeah, I'm actually impressed with how there's only two pink dolls in my top in my top five because my uh, my top five was pretty pink and red biased before it it was pretty bad. <laughs> um, I love them so much. I love Rainbow High so 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 much, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this was probably a long one, but it's I'm very passionate about these dolls. I really really adore them, and. I hope you guys were able to see why I love them, and I hope if you aren't already a Rainbow High collector, or if you're looking for recommendations, that any of my picks on this list spoke to you, but if not, you might just have the complete opposite taste as me, and that's totally fine too. Anyways, for real this time, thanks so much for watching. Bye! And goodbye from our winner. Should have made her a little crown. Goodbye!